Rose, and I'm back with another special unboxing video. Uh, and that is because this is a new diamond painting company that uh, I am uh, doing a review for. Um, it is We Have a Handle on This. And I just want to cover up my mailing address here, so that's why. Um, that's why I have that piece of paper there. Okay, so we have a handle on this. For those of you who follow my channel, is um, a custom diamond painting and crochet hook and pen uh, company. And uh, they are a small craft business in Kingston, Ontario, which is about, I don't know, 200 kilometers, maybe about 160 uh, miles away from uh, where I live in Ottawa. And uh, they've been making pens for some time. Beautiful pens. Just check out, like you can do a search for We Have a Handle on This on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, you'll see like a number of videos that I've made of pens that I've bought from them. I love their pens. Uh, and recently I noticed when I was on their website that they now also sell diamond paintings. And so I was interested in that and I thought, okay, when I break my don't be buying diamond paintings uh, fast because I've got so many diamond paintings, I will check them out. And I'll buy from something from them because they did have some really nice designs. And uh, you'll see the link to the website down in the description below. Uh, so you will be able to check this out. But then Kelly and Mike, the owners of We Have a Handle on This, got in touch with me and asked if I'd be interested in doing an unboxing of a diamond painting and a review of a diamond painting for them. Uh, so I said, yeah, sure. Uh, now they, they did offer me a discount to purchase this diamond painting, okay? Um, so I did not get it for free. I got it for a discount, uh, a pretty steep discount. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to review it any less uh, stringently than I do any of my others. Uh, and so... Uh, I was pretty excited. I went on the website and I looked and I had trouble choosing between two different diamond paintings that I just fell in love with. Uh, but I decided to start with this one. And depending on how I feel about this one, I may go back and get the other one as well. Uh, but okay, so I've talked enough about that. Let's get into this diamond painting. Now the, this was shipped by Purolator. And the shipping cost within Canada was... Um, it's included in the price of the diamond painting. Uh, when you know when you see a price for a diamond painting on we have a handle on this website, it does include the price of shipping. Uh, because I got a discount on the diamond painting, I paid full price for the shipping, and shipping was twelve dollars. Okay, so um, and this was dropped in the mail for me, I think, on Thursday of last week. They created the mailing label, like the, you know, the Purolator label, and, because I got notified when they did that, and, um, oh, jeez, I don't want my address showing. Okay, and, um, and then, um, I guess I don't need to take all of that plastic off, uh, and then it was delivered to me yesterday, uh, is when I received it. Oh, look at that. So, I mean, I really like this. Uh, because the mailing tube has a little handle on the end that you can actually pull off. This is a really good quality mailing tube. This is like an Evermoment tube. Um, and Kelly got in touch with me yesterday or this morning, I can't remember, uh, to see whether, you know, because she had been notified that I had received the diamond painting. And um, she just wanted to make sure that, you know, I was happy with what I got and everything. And I told her I'll be doing the unboxing either today or tomorrow while I'm doing it today. And um, that I'd let her know. But I said, I am really impressed with the shipping uh, for it. Because, so as you see, it is, you know, a good sturdy tube. Like, I'm trying to squeeze this thing. I can't squeeze it. Um, and then it's wrapped with saran wrap or whatever. And the ends, the caps are taped down onto it before the 
uh, before or after? Anyway, the, the caps are taped. Yeah, the caps are taped down after they put the saran wrap on. So those caps are not going to pop off. They're going to be held in place with the, uh, the, ta uh, the saran wrap. And um, yeah, so they call it, we have a handle on this Happy Meal, which I like. I think that's super cute. So this is a tube that I will definitely be keeping because it's uh, a very high quality tube. Uh, and I like to keep my high quality packaging just in case I want to give some something to somebody or sell it or um, give it away or, or mail it somewhere, whatever. And this is their business card. And there's their website address. We have a handle on this.com. And what's on the back? Thank you for supporting a small business. Please join our Facebook group, Diamond Painting Pens and more with We Have a Handle on This. We appreciate your feedback. Okay, so um, there we go. This diamond painting is number 427 in my inventory. And oh, I just realized I'm gonna have to raise you up quite a bit higher. All right. And zoom you out because this is a big one. Let's see what comes. Now, one of the nice things also about we have a handle on this is for all of their diamond painting kits, you can choose whether you want a toolkit or not. Now, I chose toolkit, even though the last thing I actually need is a toolkit. I, cho I chose to get a toolkit because I wanted to be able to review the, their tool toolkit for you. That's, that's part of the whole thing. Um, so, I don't know, maybe the toolkit's inside the drill somewhere. It's not in there. Okay, so we'll see if there's a toolkit. And it looks like there is one bag of drills uh, that's loose outside of this uh, packaging. Uh, and there seems to be a mix of different packaging. So we've got some packaging that is Ziploc bags. Uh, and some that is, um, you know, are the, the bags, the individual 200 count bags that, uh, that we're used to getting. All right, let's take a look at the diamond painting. When I saw this, I had to have it. Look at that. And it flattens out so nicely. Yeah, okay. Uh, I can zoom back in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, you might have a tiny, tiny little bit of the top of the jellyfish. That is, um, oh, if I turn it this way, it should be okay. Oh, yeah, and now I can zoom in some more. Not that much. Okay. I think that's about the best that I'll be able to do to get you the full effect of the diamond painting. Now, with these poured glue kits, and I believe that all of their kits are poured glue, I can't remember. Um, I looked at a whole bunch of their kits before I uh, selected this one, and I'm pretty sure they all said poured glue, but I'm not gonna swear to that. Okay, so normally with poured glue kits, I don't necessarily pull back the plastic, but because uh, there are these little folds in the plastic uh, that are um, not at all damaging to the diamond painting, but they do uh, just make it a little bit less clear for you looking at it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just show you this with the plastic pulled back so that you can see uh, what it looks like as it is. Now, there are a few little creases in it. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Some of you might be. 
It's not because of the way Kelly and Mike shipped it, because they shipped it beautifully in the tube. So it, the only thing I can think is that they got it with these folds. Um, I don't know. Like I say, I don't get fussed about stuff like that. Uh, but I know some people do. Okay, so this is a 60 by 40 diamond painting. And they did tell me on the website that that is the drill area size. We're going to measure that just to be sure. At least I'm pretty sure they said drill area size. Uh, I'll, I'll confirm that. And it is a square diamond painting. And I just checked to make sure that the diamonds that I have are square. Uh, but look at that. I thought the colors on the jellyfish and the color of the ocean behind it was just beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to cover it back up now because, uh, just because I want to uh, do that. So. And for those of you who are wondering, what is it that you're using to pull, push the, the paint, the plastic back? Uh, that is this that I have here in my hand. It's called a bone folder. B-O-N-E-F-O-L-D-E-R. Bone folder. I think crafters use it to fold paper or something. And I guess the old ones must have been made out of bone. Um, uh, you know, thor I'm sure it would be great for curling ribbon or whatever. Curling paper. Um, I like it because it's got a rounded edge to it. Like there's no sharp edges on it. The tip is not sharp. None, none of the corners are sharp. And so I don't ever worry about tearing my cover paper or my cover plastic uh, using the bone paper. And it's super light. Uh, I got this for 99 cents on AliExpress. You can buy them at Michael's for $10 or at, um, oh, where else can you buy it? Oh, on Amazon. You can get them for about $10 on Amazon. For those of you in the United States, I'm sure Joanne's and other craft places sell them as well uh, for more than a buck. But you know, you have to wait for shipping uh, if you get it from China. Uh, okay, so there you go. Look at this. I love it. And we're going to measure it now. Oops. Let's put it to centimeters. So it is 40 uh, up and down. And it is 60, well, 59 and a half, so I call that 60 from side to side. And it is branded with wehaveahandleonthis.com, which is nice. Uh, and looks like it's in English and Russian. Uh, this has 45 colors, and I'm just going to bring you down now, and we're going to take a look at the legend and then the drill area. So uh, let's take a look at the symbols. So we have the DMC colors, of course, marked on here as well. I'm not seeing anything that concerns me. Now, I see, I see an arrow here. So let's see if there's more arrows. No, nope. I think it's gonna be fine. We've got an S. I think that's an S. It's either an S or an eight. Uh, and a five, but they're completely different colors. Oh, there's the eight. Uh, the 8 and the S are both sort of greeny blues, so depending, that might be a little bit confusing. Uh, the B will not be confused with the 8 or the uh, S. Mm. 
Okay, so we've got a null sign. Let's see if there's a zero or an O. Nope, we've got a G here and a C, and those are both blues. So that might be confusing. We'll see. Okay, uh, so there's a few areas that might be confusing. We'll see how that looks when we take a look now at the canvas. So I am going to blow this up. Wow, look how clear that is. Now, sorry, it's probably going to be very uh, shaky. I'm trying to move slowly so that none of you get seasick, but I can't promise. Um, so this looks like a lot of confetti, but there's also a lot of color blocking. So this offers something for everybody. So there we see the C's, and there we see the G's. So we've got some C's and G's going on here. And no, I don't think those are going to be confusing at all. Uh, they're very clearly different. So that's good. And with a light pad, because I will be using a light pad for this, um, that's going to stand out even more. Now let's take a look at those eights. And I think it was fives or S's. So there's S, and okay, so I've got S down in the bottom right-hand corner and eight up in the top left-hand corner, and those also I don't think are going to be a problem. Oh, look, here's an S and an eight right side by side, right here by my thumb. Um, and. I think that'll be okay. Some of you who have visual acuity problems, that might be an issue, I don't know. Uh, but I think the printing is very, very clear and I think with a light pad it would be okay. Lots of uh, confetti here. But then as we move up, it becomes that G with just a little bit of other colors sprinkled in. Okay, let's take a look at the jellyfish. So is there anything that causes me any concern at all here? So far, no. Nope, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, and there's a six uh, here. But that too would not be confused with the G. So you see some G's right up in the top uh, near the left corner. And this six down here, those are not going to be confused. Yeah, this is this is good. And then we get back into more confetti before we go into uh, mostly color blocked G. So I'm going to have a lot of that color G, which I don't remember what it was. But there you go. Now the legend is printed on only one side of this. That doesn't bother me because I label my bags that I work out of or my uh, drill containers with the symbols on the canvas and then I never look at the legend again. Uh, but I know that some of you work from the legend so that might be something that you want to you know, take a picture of the legend and have it on your phone or on your iPad and refer to it when you need to uh, switch colors. Okay. I'm going to zoom out again because I'm just finding that this is a little bit too unsteady. Um, so yeah, we have some more color blocking here on the body of the on the body of the jellyfish. Oh, I have to take a phone call, so just a second. 
that was my friend Dawn inviting me over to her place for a backyard visit. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing after this. Um, all right, so uh, that is pretty much the canvas. It looks really good to me. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Now, let me uh, just bring you down and I will tell you a little bit about uh, the diamond painting and all of that. This diamond painting, the regular price for it is $56.98, including shipping, okay? And that's shipping by Purolator. Um, so I don't know what it is to the States, but, uh, but uh, shipping within Canada is uh, by Purolator and um, it arrived in excellent condition and they're very very fast about getting stuff out um, now I will be getting a discount coupon from Kelly and Mike uh, or a discount code from Kelly and Mike that you will be able to use to buy anything you see that you like on their site certainly any of the diamond paintings I'm not sure about the pens I'll ask Kelly about that and um, and see whether uh, she would um, whether the discount code will work just for the diamond paintings or uh, for the pens as well. Uh, but that certainly should encourage you to check them out and uh, and and get something if if you see something that you like. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment while I put all of this in order, and uh, I'll do inventory off screen just so that um, because this one like it's, it looks like the bags are individual and uh, so I, I just want to you know I tape all my bags of one color together and all of that stuff so I'm going to do all of that off screen I'll come back uh, and show you the inventory and show you the you know the organized uh, bags o drills okay so just a moment Okay, uh, so I am back and I have just done inventory. I have uh, taped together all of the packages. I'll show you this in a little bit more uh, detail in a second. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to run down the list here uh, to see whether there are any dots missing. No dots missing. Okay, so what that means is I have at least one bag of everything. And I have lots of bags of lots of things. So um, let's just take a look. And I was not checking quality of drills while I was doing uh, my taking together and so forth. So we'll just take a quick look at the drills. We'll just look at one bag from each color. Um, and, uh, and that should be enough to give a sense of the quality of these drills. And let's see. Yeah, that looks. They look very good, actually. So far, what I'm seeing, they look nice. And I will speed through this because um, I I don't. It'll just make the video too long if I if I go in detail, like if I leave each color up on the screen for too long. But look at how beautiful those drills are. They're absolutely flat. No anything. Okay, that's good.
Okie dokie. So um, everything's here. I've done a very fast forward through the uh, through the drills for you. Uh, they all look good to me. They all look really, really good to me. Now I'm just gonna whoop, just gonna label this. And I did confirm that it is 60 by 40 square drills from We Have a Handle on this. So I'll label my drills now. I call it jellyfish. I don't know what it was called on the website. Um, but I think this one's going to be fun to do. And um, yeah, so I would I would suggest that you might want to uh, just check out the link below to the We Have a Handle on this website and uh, check out their other diamond paintings or this one here is currently showing is uh, sold out um, or it's not on the website anymore. I know she reserved this one for me so that I could uh, so that I could get the one that uh, that I wanted. Um, I don't think they have huge quantities of any of the diamond paintings on their site. So if you think that you would be interested in ordering from them, I would check it out right away. And don't forget to use the coupon code because, or the discount code, because who doesn't like a discount, right? And um, yeah, it'll just be a way for you to try out a brand new diamond painting company. So there we go, all the drills. Uh, there are, okay, so the main colors here were 3844, 3845, 996, and 3846. Uh, so that, of course, is all of these blues that you see. And then uh, most of the others just had one or two bags. But with 45 colors, that's going to make this a really, really interesting diamond painting. And... Um, and I think, I think I'm gonna really enjoy working on it. I hope the number comes up soon. I was super impressed with the quality of these drills. I didn't see anything at all that concerned me. And you guys know that for me, it's the quality of drills that is the most important thing. Um, so there you go. So I wanna thank everyone for coming and watching my channel. Uh, you know I love to get your comments, so do please leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, why don't you do that now? Uh, I try to put out a video every day, and um, there's a lot of different variety in the kinds of diamond paintings that I show. You can look at my uh, previous diamond paintings uh, and I have all kinds of playlists for you so that you can, you know, if you're in a organizing mood, you can organize. If you're in a drawing chat mood, you can... Oh, there goes my dog. Uh, if you're in a drilling chat mood, you can listen to me talk about all kinds of stuff. Um, okay, I, I'm going to have to deal with the dog. So... <laughs> Thanks everybody, <laughs> take care. And thanks very much to Kelly and Mike at We Have a Handle on This for offering me this uh, discount to buy this diamond painting. And um, again, I would encourage you to get your own discount. Take care, bye-bye for now.